today we are going to show you exactly the consequences that follow when police officers pull over lawyers. And just a heads up, it always comes with an immediate regret. Now let's not waste any time and get right to the point. At number 5, we have Emmanuel Lawala. He was casually minding his own business and taking the trash out when all of a sudden, police officers appeared out of nowhere. Emmanuel was extremely cooperative, providing his ID, even his business card. But when officers told him they were going to run his ID, he became agitated and told them they do not have permission to do so. I'll give it to him. Um, you can keep doing what you're doing. We're just, again, we're oh, kind of concerned. Okay. Yeah, okay. seeing somebody dump a bunch of stuff there. So, okay. Go. Right. Right. Just don't oh. run it. Oh. You don't have to go. Don't run my card. Don't run my ID. Huh? Don't run my ID. Don't run your ID? I have no reason to. Well, we're going to at least mark it down. We're going to take down your information. Nope. I'm on my property. Put it When the officers tried to argue with him, he tells them that he is a lawyer and at no time did he break any of the laws, as well as being on the property of his law firm. The officer that we see here starts to fumble on his words and then asks a ridiculous question. Does that dumpster belong to you? I'm a lawyer. I know my rights. Okay. I'm not violating any law. I'm on my property. There's no suspicion. No one called anybody. So don't run my ID. I only identify myself so that this won't escalate. That's fine, but we can still mark down who we're out with, and so that's what we're gonna do. No. Yes. Don't stop me. This, don't turn yes. this into an issue. Sir, you are turning this into an issue. We're just simply marking down who we're out with. Yeah. So he's I'll just gonna write it down on a piece of I'll paper. Just, just, yeah. It's just your name. Why? Because, sir, we are out with you because we were concerned that you were illegally dumping. But, but you, you already discovered. Do you want me to show you my office? I understand that you're here, but I don't know if this dumpster belongs to you or somebody else. After almost 10 minutes go by, the officers realize that this was all a big misunderstanding. And without saying anything, just let Emmanuel go free about his business. But we belong to everybody, we're paying okay. for it. It doesn't really matter if it belongs to all the units. That's fine. Just give me back my ID. Thank there. you. Thank uh, you. Don't worry, everything is under control. And that's my wife. Okay. Okay. That's no, fine. I understand Do you want your you car came, back? Yeah, I understand you came to check, but trying to run my ID to find anything, no, that's illegal. This incident really angered Emmanuel, and soon he posted the incident all over his social media pages, titling it a pure example of modern day racial profiling. This next clip is of Chile de Castro a university law professor who is also a part-time YouTuber. As he was pulled over by officers for supposedly passing a red light and making an illegal turn, the officer then asks him for his identification card. But soon he is to find out what a witty genius Chile is. As he tells him it's not illegal to pass a red light if the road is closed off. I sure do. Okay. Is there a reason why you pulled me over? Yes, there is. You ran a red light when you uh, were at university and uh, rural, and then you made an improper turn right here when you cut the car off. That wasn't lane number L2. Do you have a driver's license, please? I do, but it's, it's in here. You're not going to be scared if I reach it, are you? Do you have any weapons? Well, I don't answer any questions, but you can clearly see inside of my vehicle. I have camera equipment. I'm a TV producer. Okay. Do you have a driver's license, please? I do. Could you grab it for me, please? But I was. I did a U-turn where the road was closed. I just want you to notice that. All right. Could you give me your driver's license, please? I can, but I got to reach in here, and I don't want you to be scared. Just give me your driver's license. This is the Mullen Commission. I teach constitutional law. Okay. Just, just so you understand what you're doing here. All right. Be give really me. careful. Your steps here. Give me your driver's license, please. You can't. You, you can't say I ran a red light when the road was closed, and I didn't see the road was closed. I took a right, and there was nowhere to go. Now, usually at this point. Officers realize they have made an error and apologize, but this arrogant officer is still accusing Chile of wrongdoing. 
Shile stays calm and confronts the cop of false allegations and even offers to show him a recording of the dash cam. You see the road was closed? I saw, but I also saw that you were stopped at a red light and you turned <laughs> left at a red light. And then I also saw right here, you turned left from lane number L1 and straight into lane number two and cut off the other vehicle that was- I didn't cut off any vehicles off, so we don't make things up. Right, I, got a, I, got a cam I got a camera in here, so don't say things that aren't true. I didn't, cu I didn't cut off anybody. The officer keeps pushing, and rather than walking away, he asks again for ID. Chile immediately walks out to see what's going on, and then is yelled at by the officer's colleague to get back in his vehicle. Let me just take a look and see. Okay. It's on the other side. Let me get my rear on the passenger I can, side? I can get it. I don't need okay. you. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need your help. You can, okay. I'm not a criminal, so get the of me brother i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna I, have you wait in your no, car no okay? i'm gonna grab my registration like he asked me no, to do sir, i'm gonna have you wait in your at this point chile is fed up with the amount of nonsense from both officers as he has just had enough bs for the night i'm gonna have you wait in your car you're not you giving me okay? a lawful order i teach constitutional law be very careful what you do he then tells the second officer what he does for a living and by that time both officers became slightly intimidated and let him go free it's completely un uncalled for. And they pulled me over because there was a, a road down there that, that was... What's your citation? You have to take it by the... What's my citation for? January red light what? violation, improper turn. The back of the citation... You, you couldn't see the road was closed have back night, there? Sir. Oh, go, go, go to hell, dude. You guys are both authoritarian. Oh, can I walk over here now? Are you still scared, copper? Are you still scared? Oh, we're done are, stop. Are, are you still scared? Go. Are you still scared? Number three. A random cop pulls over a young lady. He then requests for her to turn off her car and put her hands up against the steering wheel of the car. Can you uh, turn your engine off for me, please? Keep your hands on the steering wheel as well. Sure. Turn your engine up. The woman obediently listens. Then, out of curiosity, she asks the cop, Why did you happen to pull me over? The cop replies that she was speeding, but the woman instantly denies his claim. You know why I pulled you over today? Well, actually, I don't because uh, I wasn't speeding and my car's in perfect condition. The police trooper then tells her that the reason she was pulled over is congruent to the fact that she accelerated too quickly. The lady then admits to his claim. When he requests for her license and vehicle registration, the lady does not argue and cooperates with him. Take off from being in a standstill. If you go too fast, mm -hmm. that's accelerating too fast, which is what you've just done. Right, yeah, sorry, yes, that was my mistake. Okay, so are we okay then? Am I okay to go because I was, I was barely no, over I, the speed I, limit? I would like your license and registration. Yeah, uh, come on, okay, hurry up. not a problem. Fine. Now let's remember the whole time this clever lady has her dash cam on. But then the cop just crossed the line by asking the woman to exit her car. Can you step out of the vehicle for me? Rolling down the window to talk to you is all I'm actually legally required to do. There's no reason for me to leave the vehicle. And this is the part of the story where the woman's boss lawyer instincts come into play. She replies that legally she has no obligation to succumb to his request and that rolling her windows down by itself is all that is required. The police officer then gets annoyed and calls her Little Miss Know-It-All. Now that's just too offensive. Are you sure about that, Little Miss know -it -all? He then tries to educate her by stating that he is a trained and an experienced police trooper and that she does not have the educational background of the law like he does. Is, uh... You think you know the law better than me? I'm a trained police officer, gone through the academy, you know? Okay, well, that's good. I'm a solicitor, so, yeah. I but the poor guy still has not realized that he is starting a fight with the wrong opponent. The woman instantly corrects him again, telling the police trooper that she is an attorney. The officer becomes more agitated and alters his tone of voice, becoming even more disrespectful. He asks her if she is really an attorney. Just car you're driving, you're a solicitor. Yes, I am sure about that. I've, I've done several years of training in London, I have my LPC. I'm... Is that right? Yes, I'm now... Anything else you would like to add to that list? Would there be any point? 
you're an assistant at best. Come on, we both know it. <laughs> you're just using big words and you're making up big And when she states yes, he said that the most you are is just an assistant and accuses her of using big words just to impersonate an attorney. The woman with extreme patience stays calm and peacefully replies that she is only doing what she is required to legally do. Upon the law, I, I have rolled down the window, I have spoken with you, that's all I'm legally required. The officer again taunts her, saying, is that what they teach you at your big and luxurious legal firm? We really have to applaud the amount of inner patience this lady has. She doesn't for one second lose her cool. The trooper then changes the subject, asking the lady for her Minister of Transport certificate. But she tells him that because her car was just serviced, it is not present with her in the car. Have you got your MOT certificate? <sighs> it's actually not in the car at the moment. I had it serviced last week and I haven't yet put the updated certificate in the glove compartment. So you're telling me again that you're a lawyer and you don't understand the rules of the road. And you don't understand the basics of being pulled over. I do, and I think you'll find the Road to Traffic Law of 1988 will show that law about giving MOT certificates not changed in 34 years. 34 years? Hmm. But then, then you as this big fancy lawyer must, must know all the rules of the road correctly. Well, I do try to keep up with changes in legislation, yes. Right, you know what, I'm, I'm not happy with this, uh, this tone of voice <sighs> you're, you're giving me. I'm an officer of the law. Yes, I think we've established yourself. that. If you continue to be disrespectful to me, I'll bring you into the station. The officer again ridicules her, telling her that once again, you don't know the legal rules, even though you claim to be an attorney. But still, the lady remains peaceful and serene, in spite of the fact that she is being repeatedly abused by the officer. The officer then for no reason tells her that her tone is malicious and threatens to arrest her if her disrespect continues. Can we leave it there? Well, no, because I've asked you to get out of your vehicle multiple times and you're refusing. That's right, I am refusing, as is my right. My well, legal right. Would you like me to arrest you? The woman then just loses her cool and bluntly tells the low IQ officer that the law actually gives you seven days to provide a Minister of Transport certificate. Very welcome to arrest me, but I... I think my... Absolutely not. Uh -huh. I think you'll find my big boss at my law firm will come down on you like it's on the bricks. On the bricks on this imaginary law. The trooper has a complete meltdown and yells at her to get out. But she, for the fifth time, tells him she is not legally obligated to do so. He then makes a threat to place her under arrest and tells her no one at her big and luxurious law firm will be able to come and save her this time. She then tells him to watch what he is saying as the consequences of his actions will rain on him like a load of bricks. No, you won't actually, because I think you'll find that section D of that particular act, well, it protects motorists by giving them seven days in which to produce their MOT certificate. I don't have to give it to you now. If it's not in the car, I have seven days with which to find it. I do know where it is and bring it in to the... Unfortunately, the rest of this video was cut out for legal purposes. But my bet is that the cop got the message and probably just walked away. In this last video, the official body cam recording shows us officers pulling over a regular woman. But soon, they come to find out it's their worst nightmare. They pulled over Florida's famous state attorney, Arami Ayala. They ask her for her driver's license as well as registration. Then an officer replies that her tags did not go through his system, hence why she was pulled over, as well as the fact that her windows were extra tinted. Aramis remains calm, asks them for their name tags, and one of the officers writes it down. Can I just have cards on you? Yeah, one second. Actually, this isn't my car, but I can write my name down if you'd like. <clears throat> yeah, 
It's dazzling how this just became one of the best examples of reverse psychology in body cam history. Both police officers become instantly nervous and uncomfortable, both showing a change in tone. Soon after she was pulled over, Aramis tells the officers that them pulling her over was not congruent with Florida legal law, but repeatedly stated that she has not broken any laws. Now, although this incident was posted all over the media, for some odd reason, Arami didn't file a suit against the officers. Which lawyer's reactions did you think was the best? And if you want to see more videos just like this, click on the videos right above the screen. And remember, never stop your inner light from discovering.